Reinforcement refers to anything that immediately follows a behavior and serves to maintain and slash or increase the frequency of that behavior in the future. Some aspects that I find are frequently misunderstood is that reinforcement comes in many shapes and sizes and it's not always as it seems. Another aspect has to do with the fact that if we misunderstand what the reinforcers are in our animal's environment, then we can really limit our ability to get desirable behavior change. Watch this video where we are doing some relationship work with Devi the brush tail possum. We cannot hand feed Devi at this stage in his training, therefore we are just working on pairing ourselves with the delivery of some of his favorite food items by placing them on wooden shelves. A discussion arose surrounding whether or not it was important when the food landed on the shelves. We decided to film this training therefore and let Devi tell us what was important to him. We used the direction of his gaze to identify where the important information was held. As the trainer correctly demonstrates in this video, it's important to be watching your animal at all times and you can see the trainer's eyes are directed towards Devi and they follow him as he walks up onto the perch. Communication in any training scenario is a continuous feedback loop between both learners in the situation, animals and trainers. Devi is therefore additionally watching the trainer with his eyes focused on her hand. The trainer decides it's time to place the food and due to the necessity of coordinating that food placement, her eyes had to change their focus to the shelf. Devi, however, is still focused on the hand that feeds him. As the trainer has now refocused on the shelf, her hand starts moving to place that food item in that location. Devi has received some new information. That hand that feeds him is on the move. And just like a world time dance, his head moves in synchrony. Finally, the food ends up on the shelf and both Devi and Trainer are looking at the same thing. Was it important information when the food got placed on the shelf? We decide that what was even more important was when the hand initially started moving. The hand in this situation communicated to Devi that food was on its way. Understanding that reinforcement occurs immediately after behavior allowed us to utilize this new information to our advantage and in future training, communicate to Devi exactly when he had done the right thing by timing our hand movements. To get the best results from your training, identify all the reinforcers in your animal's environment and use them if you can, like we did in this example, to your advantage. If you can additionally add your reinforcers into the environment immediately after desirable behavior has occurred, you will be well on your way to success. We hope you have enjoyed this week's training tidbit. My name is Ryan Cartledge from Animal Training Academy. Thank you for watching and we'll see you again soon.